2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Here's a look at downtown Los Angeles from the air. We're coming to you live from the Staples Center. It's great to be with you on a Monday afternoon as we get set for this broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Well, LeBron James is closing in on the top three all-time list in scoring. LeBron said, it's an honor, but he added, scoring has never been on my list of goals. Facilitating, rebounding, defending, getting blocked shots and things of that nature, always ranked above that. Kevin, he has filled up the box score for a long time. He can impact the game in so many ways. D.A., thank you. And the Clippers starting five. The two stars, George and Leonard, fill up the forward slots. Beverly and Williams, the guard tandem. And it's Harrell in at the center position. And for the Lakers, Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. And it's Rondo in at the one. The Clippers last year, they scored well. Lacked a true superstar, but they were aggressive. Case in point, number one in the league in free throw attempts. Here's James. Pass to Davis. Back to LeBron. And the shot goes down. And Smitty getting to the line most often for the Clippers last season. Lou Williams and Gallinari. That combination was fascinating to watch. When you have guys who can score on all three levels and know how to draw fouls, that puts tremendous pressure on the defense. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here is Davis. There's Green with the three. And the three ball is good. Okay, responding to the three at the other end. Danny Green loves the gamesmanship. The pass to Harrell. Down low. And Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Harrell. Leonard's got five points so far. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. That one goes. Count it. And you have to tip your cap to Kuzma. He absorbs contact well and knows how to adjust his shot. Beverly feeling it out a bit. Fires for three. And another three for the Clippers. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. And Green gets it to go. Obviously, Rondo's main priority is to dish the rock. When you're open, he'll get it to you. Now, here is George. With one on the clock. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Lakers on top, leading by just one. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. LeBron James is the all-time leader in playoff field goals made. And he had this to say about his ability to nail clutch shots. I always feel like I got it. I always feel like I got it in the clutch. No matter what's going on throughout the course of a game, uh, even when you're struggling at times or you're not shooting the ball particularly well, I just feel like it's going in. And you know, Greg, that's the type of confidence you got to have. Uh, the words of a leader. James has proven time and time again that he's dangerous in late game situations. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And what stands out to you from the Lakers in this one? Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Especially at the start. You want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm. 
And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So for the Lakers right now, LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out there with Cook, and it's Cousins in its center. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Steve, when it comes to creating contact, which offensive moves can create the impression of a foul where the defensive player can do nothing about it? I think ripping through the defender's arms is really tough for the defensive guy right now, Kevin. That's a hard move to defend if you're the defender. Smitty, I think guys actually practice this, don't they? Ways they can kind of lure a defensive player in like that. They do. They are, they're strong enough now, and also they are, like you said, practicing that type of move. Now here's Beverly. To the middle. He's looking for Leonard and finds him. Zubac's trying to break loose. Back to Green. Outside Leonard. Shot clock at six. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Caldwell Pope. Daniels, he's checked in for the Lakers. One fourteen left to play in the first half. Back to Leonard. McGee with the block. Will Pope up top. He's covered by Shamit. Passes it to McGee. Pass to Daniels. From the arc. Hands it from downtown. Daniels has got the lead up to six now for the Lakers. And he gives up some size on that play, but the defender fails to close the gap. This is why you spend so much time devising ways to space the floor. If you can't, you don't get very far. And the Lakers with some changes. Davis has checked in for Cousins. Avery Bradley comes in for Caldwell Pope. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Quinn Cook. The Clippers also changing it up. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Zubox. Paul George comes in for Leonard. And it's Williams in for Patrick Beverly. Now here's Green. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Shamit. Four on the shot clock. From deep three-point range. And the Clippers miss again. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space. But that does make it a tougher shot. Here's Rondo. Great D that time from Green. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Kawhi, a big first half for you all offensively, but big first half for them, too. Any concern there? Uh, they're still scoring pretty good, so we got to play better defense second half uh, because we don't know if we're going to keep making the shots that we're making right now. We'll see who can get some stops, Kawhi. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. They were able to squeeze ahead by the end of the period with just a one-point lead. They really touched on the right formula in the second quarter as they were able to pull out to a six-point lead before the halftime break. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. 
Well, I think to shoot a high percentage, your offense has to be in sync. And in the first half, those guys were sharing the basketball, playing for each other. Now it becomes a matter of being consistent at it. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? You know, they haven't shot the ball very well. Not nearly enough quality looks. Right now, this game could easily come down to shot selection and how they run their offense. They need to keep the ball moving and generate better looks. <laughs> and that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. We have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. And a big summer for the Lakers trading for Anthony Davis for a time. Greg, it even looked like they had a great shot at landing Kawhi Leonard. And he ends up choosing the Clippers, which gives rise to a compelling rivalry. The nexus of NBA basketball has shifted to the city of Angels. Whichever team you root for, L.A. fans with a lot to celebrate. So for the Clippers right now, they're down low at four with Harrell in the middle. Beverly and Williams, the guard tandem. And it's George in at the three spot. Williams against Ronda. There's the pass to George. Over James. And there's Paul George on the assist by Williams. George has got his second bucket. And the mid-range jumper really right in George's comfort zone. When he isn't blowing by guys and finishing at the rim, he's knocking that one down with consistency. Now here is Davis. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Come on, you. Come on. Williams against Green. Over Williams. Again, the Lakers. Tough shot. Green with the composure to rise up. Drill the J right in the man's face. George passes to Harrell. Outside, Williams. Outside, George. Over James. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Paul George. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's James trying to get open as Kuzma. Over George. Kawhi Leonard comes up with the rebound. You know, the right thing there to try to fade away with the D all over him, but that is a difficult shot to see. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. 12 seconds left in the third quarter. Rondo looking around. With two seconds left, and the Lakers check on two more. Rondo is certainly capable of drilling the jumper. Got to at least get a hand in his face. And we've reached the end of the third. Lakers lead by four. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Lakers leading by four. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Ajahn Rondo is out there with Bradley. And it's Cousins in at the five. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Now here's Kuzma. Lock at six. Rondo against Beverly. And here's James outside. No good there. The Clippers go the other way with it. Left side, George. Oh! He just jams it right over LeBron. Wow. I love the patience Beverly has developed with the ball in his hands. Terrific find. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. A two-point game. Fires the three. Traps in the tray. 
defensively, you can't back off him that much. You don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. Kuzma against George. Second shot opportunity, and it's good on the way in. He got the ball in perfect position, went up over the smaller defender, and laid it in for a big bucket. LeBron against George. It's LeBron with the drive. It drops. One of the league's great competitors. The second LeBron catches the ball, you can see he's looking to rise to the occasion. The Lakers making a switch here. Green's checked in. And then for the Clippers. Harrell, he's checked in for Zubats. And it's Leonard in for Green. Free throw good, James. And that tacks another big point onto the lead. Great N1 play showing us now a little bit of that killer instinct. And the Clippers call time here. They trail by six. There's 53 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He told him, we've got to make the most of every chance right now. This is a winnable game, but we've got to make plays. Guys, we'll see if they can come back. Now, here's Cousins. Kawhi Leonard unable to get his shot to go. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Rondo. From deep. Rebound by Harold. And the Clippers call time here. They're trailing by six. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Uh, they need a quick basket here. Not only do they need a bucket, they need a three just to give them any chance at all. Nineteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Green with the block. Good shot blocker for his size. Danny showing great timing right there. Fifteen seconds left to play here in the fourth. Pass to Williams. Three-pointer. Again, Williams missing. And so they foul intentionally. the first one and that makes it a seven point lead you know rondo takes great pleasure at slicing and dicing up the defense one of the best passers in the game and he hits both free throws here so now it's an eight point game now patterson from deep three-point range and the miss. And so the Lakers take the win. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron, were you satisfied with the team's performance tonight? Uh, 
we got a very good team, but in order for us to continue to improve, we have to go out and we have to defend, we have to play for one another, and we have to be selfless. You know, it's not about the individual, it's about the team, and if we all give in to what the team needs to do to be better, then, then we'll be okay. It is a work in progress, LeBron. Thanks for your time. Kevin? All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. See you next time.